Is that the glove for next year? Like yeah, I like it. This is sick. I hope you guys are filming now. We got that reaction. Are we live right now? <laughs> the blue steel look into the camera. I mean, is that just you having fun? And nobody loves the spotlight more than this guy. What's up everybody, we're here at the Easton headquarters here in Thousand Oaks, California. About to do a photo shoot and then go talk to some kids. Oh damn, that's dope. We're excited to be with the company that is going towards the top. Do I need to, I don't, you want to I'd probably just put on baseball pants. You know what I'm What size baseball pants are you? Like a log. Here we go, this is a perfect right here. Give him white. Okay. okay. Let him go get you the shirt. This is what I was talking about. This this one. Oh the facial hair? No, when he was in spring. Training. See this guy's? Brutal. No facial hair for the kid. Did you literally just shave like, mm -hmm. for the first time in a long time? Mm -hmm. okay. This is my favorite part of every. Uh, Getting makeup? Mm -hmm. um, are you hungry? Cool. Yeah. Do you want something? What do you want? Whatever. There's some breakfast burritos. Chipotle or something. Oh. <laughs> is that the glove for next year? Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. This is sick. Okay. This is already ready to go too. See, dude, I hope you guys are filming that. We got that. <laughs> Reaction. That's where I, I right shouldn't here. have brought it down. Do you guys have any other hats that are like bigger? I feel like I look weird in this. Oh, there we go. We're good. Never mind. You gotta eat healthy. <laughs> Chipotle is decent. Can Real we like tan up right here? That's what I'm perfect. Just, that's what He's you like, got right? A few different kinda. I got oh, different so. shades, all right? Just, yeah. 50 shades of, of Greg. <laughs> It actually started in 1922. We got into the baseball business in the early 70s with the aluminum bats. And, and Jim Easton, um, just a great baseball fan, great engineer, went to UCLA, loved baseball, um, wanted to bring Easton into the forefront. So introduced the, the aluminum bats in 1971. And then what got Easton really famous is that bat here. It's called the Green Easton. That's like how old guys remember it. That's Tito Francona, by the way. Oh, nice. And when that bat came out in 1978, from 1978 to 1997, every College World Series champion championship team, they all swung so Easton bats. This is another bat, like the Black Magic. Like, Dad, you hear about this? You hear about this? Dad still ask us to make that for their kids now. Like this is the bat that. Robin Ventura used to sell the college records and stuff like that. Florida State. But again, all the teams, you know, that have won the College World Series. And then, then we get into like the late 80s here, and that's when we started getting into the ball glove front a little bit more and made our first push into MLB. Dave Stewart, who is still very active in the game, mm -hmm. you know, and still talk to Stu pretty regularly. So y'all did, did Team USA as well? Yep, in 1988. The entire team was in Easton Batters, Cubs, and Bats. Big LSU guy on that team, Ben McDonald, yep. was on that team. Oh, yeah. Number one overall pick. Oh, yeah. We still uh, talk to Ben pretty regularly. He's uh, he still does. He calls all the games there. I see him yeah. every year when we play in Baltimore. Still with the flat top. Yep. There's the first mention of, of LSU up there. Um, I think that was Skip's first championship. Yep. They, yep, skip, I think all of Skip's years is where Easton. Yeah, so this is when we get into more, you know, combination of just like dominant run of uh, the East End. In college and in college and the big, another big LSU moment. Now Warren Morris. It's a deep drive down the right field line. That ball is good! Warren, 
we actually went to Omaha with Warren in 2016 and brought Alex, Cora, and Warren together, and they didn't know it. And we had Skip come and do the introduction at the at a steakhouse in Omaha. It was the first time they had seen each other yep. since since the game. So he hit the homer. Cora was laying on the ground at short. This year we made a we made a bet on the LSU Miami football game. And Cora had to wear Warren's jersey during batting practice in Boston this year. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I've I seen this bat everywhere. I used this bat when I was growing up. The connection. So this is the very first ever. <coughs> See, this. look how valuable this is. They, they got it locked to the wall. They won't even let me take it off. That's a, that's the very first ever two-piece. Yep. One of these. And Eric Chavez was the first guy to wear an Easton glove and uh, win a gold glove. Oh, cool. Um, at third, so. Let's win one of those. Yours is coming soon. Let's win one of those. <laughs> Finalists this year, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> the stealth, both of them. Swung the little barrel when I was playing in Little League and in the big barrel during, uh, during travel ball. Yeah, this is probably why they moved to the new bat rules in uh, 2010 and 11. Because that, <laughs> that, that one had some lump to it. And in 2011, I would say that's kind of the start of almost you know, kind of modern day Easton. That's when they changed the bat rules on the aluminum front, got away from the old BESR and, and moved to what is called BB Core now. That's the one UCLA used when they, were, when they beat us in the 2013 World Series. Yep. You know, last year we made the step back into MLB with, with your help, obviously. We started a, awesome. the Light Up the Show campaign. And uh, I mean, a big thanks to you, we made a, a huge push. I mean, winning the all-star game MVP and having the season that you had. So now you're a part of Easton's long and storied history and tradition forever. That's super cool. That's so, awesome. And uh, we're looking to build off that uh, as we move forward. Yeah, let's keep, let's keep pushing to the top. Let's stay there. And next year we'll take, we'll, we'll keep the all-star game MVP, but then we'll also cross it off and just MVP only. I like that. Right I like that. That has a good, that has a nice little ring. And, and we'll get the, a World Series trophy. Oh, that there we again. need that. We need that. Yeah. I need another World Series. Yeah. That's awesome. Got Jose up there too, 30 and 30 club. Easton's uh, on the rise in professional baseball. We're trying to come up. That would be awesome. That's good. Super cool. Great. <laughs> Great. Got it. Got it. Do we need, need to get some like, Blooper stuff, awesome thing. We got it. We should get you like <laughs> just doing the quick look in. <laughs> Got to kind of see the Eastern Wall of Fame. It was really cool seeing where the company started and seeing where it's going. Yeah, Chipotle is just right across the freeway. So. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Eastern Wall of Fame. Uh, we're here at the Eastern Wall of Fame. Keely and Pilar were in here yesterday working out. Gum, see, ain't got no peanut butter. Not like when you're putting it on. Can I hold the glove when I do this? Yeah. Which one do you want? This one. That one. Hey, <laughs> speeds. Hey, speeds. Hey, man, I just want to say thanks for coming in today. We really appreciate it. We know the off season is an important time, but it's also a time you need to re rejuvenate and get ready. Long, long season, but. Um, we're really big about the off season here, as I know you are. You know, we, we see what you do in the off season. We see you work out, and, and I just wanted to kind of get your thoughts. What, what are you what are you doing this off season? What what are your priorities for next year? What do you what are you aiming to get better at? I love the off season because it's a time where you get to like get kind of in a lab and just work on your craft, and um, I, I I find it really fun. Um, I, I try every off season to set goals at the beginning of the off season, um, whether it's physical goals. Um, my eating habits, um, my, my body, um, and also baseball skill as well. And I kind of write down goals about each of them and then um, kind of figure out a plan to attack that and trying to get better, whether it's just 1% in every phase of the game, um, whether it's hitting, uh, defense, uh, the weight room, 
eating eating healthy. Chipotle is decent. Just just trying to prepare myself to play another 162 games and play be better than I was last year. And you set goals, you 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 go and attack them, and um, that's why I love that's why I love the off season. I think from that regard, you set a really good example for kids and aspiring baseball players and a lot of what you're doing right now is like perfect for this day and age with the social media with the youtube channel so when kids see what you're doing in the off season i mean i think they're setting goals and, and trying to get to the big leagues too and working i i, I just in watching some of the stuff that you do um you know not only are you east an ambassador i'm a big fan i you know i saw you make a comment the other day i know you're working hard with your trainer and all your boys, when when you're trying to get, you know, the one percent better. I saw you guys were driving to a workout, and you said, "We're working on homers to center today." That's an on-field thing. What are you doing in the gym in the off-season to to be able to hit that homer to center? What it, what is the specific where you where you can do something in the off-season off the field that then translates onto the field? Yeah, well, we, we set the goal, hey, we want to be able to hit the ball in the ballpark to all fields, whether it's left field, center field, or right field. Um, last year I was able to hit homers to left and homers to right, only a few to center. And I think um, you, you kind of look around the league at guys who hit homers to center, what they what they have in common, um, guys with your build, what they, what, what, what they do in order to do that. And I, I play with a guy named Jose Altuve who is five foot six, but he's able to homer to center. And I ask him what he trains on during the off season, and he's really focused on the core. So this off season, one of our big focuses is the core. We're going to get the core super strong, and um, I think if we do that, we'll be able to leave the ballpark to all parts, all, all fields. Some of the throws you make, fielding ground balls, you know, in foul territory, and then coming all around. I mean, that to me, that seems a little bit core as well, but arm strength. What other? What other things are you doing off the field that you know kids can pick up on and, and, and maybe utilize to help them? Well, we do a bunch of uh, different drills when it comes to defense during the off season. Um, we do uh, a lot of footwork stuff, but but from the arm per perspective, we we're working on throwing from all different arm slots, and um, whether it's me and a buddy are standing 30 yards away from each other, running in a circle and throwing, playing catch and trying not to miss it and trying to hit the guy in the chest um, and then reversing it and going the other way. Um, there's some different drills that we do to learn to throw on the run and uh, learn to throw on the run accurately. Nice. Um, shifting gears a little bit, um, the technical part of baseball is, is huge obviously and obviously you're kind of a baseball rat. You love being on the field, you love getting better. Um, Beyond the traditional aspect of baseball, baseball is kind of moving into the forefront and it's it's getting younger. When you see what's going on in social media, you know, the new commissioner is kind of championing that a little bit. You guys got players weekend now, you can be creative. One of the things we're trying to do at Easton as we get back in the MLB is work with guys like you who have certain ideas about your product. And, and, and I think you're perfect for that. You know, Pedro Martinez calls you the new face of baseball and, and you're having a lot of fun out there. What is it where you mix the tradition with the game and working hard and want to be good on the field, but then also bring in your personality, your flair, the emotions to it, stuff like this glove, stuff like the, the, the blue steel look into the camera. I mean, is that just you having fun? Yeah, for sure. I think you have to have fun with this game. It's such a game of failure that uh, over the course of 162 games, it's going to be so up. It's, there are going to be so many ups and downs. You have to try and keep it even keel and have fun with it. During during that four hours that we're on the field, it's 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 playing baseball. It's leaving it all out there, playing to win and, and trying to win games for the for the Houston Astros. And um, when, when when we're off the field or when we're when we're joking around in the clubhouse, it or when we're in the dugout after a homer, I think it, I think it's time to have fun and it's time to um, put a smile on your face and and really really show your personality, like you said. And I think guys in this game are starting to show more of their personalities, and uh, it's fun. I, I've heard about you several times is that that you play with a chip on your shoulder, but in a good way. And you know, it got brought up during the series with the Red Sox. You know, Ben and Tenney just made a hell of a play on a ball you hit that right in the middle of a great comeback. The next day you stare Ben and Tenney down, but it seems like you guys are still friends. I mean, how, like, what is that dynamic? I mean, yeah, you're a little bit, 
Oh yeah, I mean, I, I, I hit a ball, I hit a ball left field with the game on the line, and we actually, we, we played against each other in the SEC, we, we know each other really well, and um, our families actually know each other, and I was staring at him, giving him a hard time, like, don't, don't, don't catch the ball that I hit out there anymore, uh, kind of just playing around, but um, that's, I think that stuff's fun, talking a little, talking a little trash to each other, and um, yeah, they, they got us, he made a heck of a play. Great, great season you had, finalists for the Gold Glove at third base. Um, again, I think this speaks to your, your baseball IQ, but um, you really helped Easton on the ball glove front last year, um, and you articulated some things about the ball glove to me and to our, our product team that really helped us. You know, you made a comment to me when you were at LSU and playing shortstop at that level with those type of hitters, you were, you were basically able to circle every ball, field everything, two hands, the big league level, you said, I'm at third now, ball's coming hard. I'm getting everything one hand, I'm, I'm, and I need, a, I need a softer liner that I can squeeze, but I need a harder shell that, that can hold up. And, and we, we got inventive with the design using a really nice soft leather on the liner with the Horween. It was gonna let you break it in. And um, you know, this is the glove, the, the very first AB2 right there. Mm -hmm. And basically you used that all last year but we wanted to take kind of your design and, and kind of kind of up our game and get your personality in. So we're, we're kind of getting a little bit flashier for you, but wanted to get your thoughts again on ball gloves, what, what you're looking for in a really good ball glove from a, from a performance standpoint, but then like, how can we add some, some AB2 elements into the glove? 100%, and I used this for about the first half of the season, loved it. And then I got, you guys sent this one, and um, fell in love with this this leather. I, I took it out of the, I took it I took it out of the box, and it was ready to go in three days. And that's kind of really what I want. I want a glove that is is not fl too floppy, but a glove that at third base I have to be able to catch everything one handed. So I need something that is not too too hard that I would need to use two hands with uh, on everything. Um, but yeah, I definitely like how it's. The hard, the hard shell, like you said, soft in here. That way, uh, it just, it just feels good in my hand, and I try and catch everything, right, right, actually right on the A. So um, the the this uh, this T web bro broken perfectly, and it's it's perfect for for third base. I like I like the 11 and three quarters. Um, some guys like the 12 at third base. I'm, I'm more of like 11 three quarters. If I play in the middle of the field, I kind of want 11 and a half. Uh, but I actually just used this one at shortstop this year too when I moved over there and, and loved it. Um, I kind of like, I, I do like this new design with the orange and, and, and blue. Um, but yeah, I used this one during the postseason, fell in love with it, and uh, I'm gonna use this, this model the rest of my career. So, what are some things that you like to see in a ball glove more from a personality standpoint? Now that you have the option to do some things with the All-Star Game and Players Weekend, um, you want to leave it up to Easton and us come up with some designs or you have some specific things in mind? I mean, I mean, I know you work with some different charities. Are there some things that we can highlight on a ball glove to really show your personality and show what you, you care about? Yeah, well, I think that, I think, I think both. I, I, I like when you guys come up with some designs like this and kind of surprise me and it's, it's awesome. I, I, I love how these look. Um, but like you said, yeah, we have now Players Weekend All-Star Game where we can, where we can wear um, some kind of flashier stuff, I guess, and um, I think definitely for this year for Players Weekend, we're going to try and incorporate something with my uh, charity that um, helps kids with autism. So um, you guys have been great about um, helping out with that already, and I think if we if we add some sort of puzzle piece element to the glove for Players Weekend, really just do something to kind of um, illustrate uh, what we're trying to do with ABs for Odds, my charity that helps kids with autism, and. Um, you guys have been really great in um, helping us um, make an impact in those, in the, in those children's lives already. So um, hopefully we do that and maybe add a little flair for the All-Star Game or something like that. And um, looking forward to, to wearing it. Cool. This way. Sorry. 
Six minutes. Seven minute AM. What do you want to do for the workout, Dennis? Dennis could give us something that he doesn't do. You and your mustache can work out later. <laughs> <laughs> I checked the schedule, it said two o'clock. Oh, no, you're good. Work out with us. Where's Dennis at? Yeah. Oh, of course. What, well, do you think we should do some like TRX rows or something? Stroud, what do you got? What should we do? You said you were Get some ropes. Get some ropes. Get some ropes? Like, what do you, like, Yeah. hit some like fake rows for the video? <laughs> do we need the spritz bottle as we sweat? Should we? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, keep working out. You're good. I swear to God. No, the cameras. No, you're good. Can you spot him, actually? Yeah, I'll spot him. <laughs> the vibes over on the far left, yeah, that's typically my job. Ah! You ever seen the Nelf Boys on, on Instagram? I think you should be here and be like... They always fake the, like, the fives, like... I think you should be like, nah, 999, yeah. 1,000. I don't know if you've ever heard, that was over 1,000. Oh, Anchorman. Oh, yeah. Was, oh, yeah, yeah. Anchorman. We could do some, like, the ropes. Some of that. Yeah, it yeah. works good because we have the quote right behind you. Right there. Yeah. And okay. stuff like this. Is that good? Yeah. That's the tiniest rope. You can manhandle this thing. That's for sure. What else we got? Should we go to the biggest one? No, we're just, we're faking the bench. Oh, okay. Okay, so the other day we all went to yoga. Paid hey, Strava 100 bucks to lay in the front of the yoga class and not move. <laughs> yoga, yoga instructor's like, all right, downward dog, and Strava's laying there breathing. But how good did you feel for an hour? <laughs> dude, for an hour. Lady behind him kicked him, he's like, wake up! <laughs> so do it, do it like the speech and it's a tip over? Yeah. Should I like fake a... Should I give like one of these? Like, ah! We good? Go lighter for that. <laughs> Stop. We were looking for these for the house. We just all of us lived together during the uh, off season, and we decided that from now on, whenever people are getting in an argument, we're just gonna put on some gloves. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. All body shots. I'm in. All right, let's do it. That's where it's got to start. And 
then the player uh, the side know where to paint it. If it's a two-tone or if it's a one-tone, it doesn't matter. At this point, it's all cosmetic. Right now, we've got a lot of coaches bungos ready to go through. Number 37 in. Our prep room or two tone bass get their first coat of, of paint. You got any completed? Yeah. Second coat in here is engraving. Engraver's actually going right now. And then for these dips today, not yet. I guess 50 more coats here. These are uh, used bats. Well, here's our laser engraver. Um, Basically, the artwork is all here, and each one of these stations represents each one of these going this way. That's cool. Huh? Yeah. So it's burning just enough to get through the paint and just touch the wood. So it doesn't affect the integrity of the wood. But for you guys, for Major League Baseball, we do not engrave on the tape. There's no sense in um, taking that risk. Yeah, so we just do a sticker logo. And then at this point, uh, once they get engraved, they get looked at, inspected, they get finally did one more time. And then uh, they go out to the pack here and get inspected again. Uh, here's some of our pro wood. These two are for Ryan Healy. He'll be tomorrow. He's going to have black clear. Yeah. Seems heavy too. I like how this feels though. Yeah. A lot. I, I like how this one feels. It's not a 110 though. No, but I, no, I'm saying like the paint. You know, oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. I like how that feels. Um, and we're going to be putting that special coat. Did you like the paint the last time? That really it was, hard? Uh, it was like a little too like woody for me. Like I like it like, the, like if you know like how it's kind of just like glossy the whole Blade, way. Yeah. Glaze the whole yeah. way. I like that. Yeah. And that's what we're going to get to with that new coat of paint we're doing. Perfect. Like awesome. I said, we can get it back from you. I yeah. can make sure nothing happens to it. Get it back to you if you want it. We just put tape on it for measurement. Yeah. And right now, like it was taking me to hand turn a pattern like eight hours because I was doing it all by hand. Yeah. Now we've got a system in place. We're turning out patterns in less than a day. Oh, that's good. I got an engineer helping me. So pretty, pretty cool. You saw all that, but Dan was talking about. Now there's one of your new finished ones. That's what we were just talking about. Okay. Well. You tell them about all the new processes, the bone rubbing. This is a not yet. <clears throat> Talked about the paint right there. Good, yeah. good grains. So we'd like when we hit in a little bit, we'll get you to hit with that. Hopefully, is, this, the, is this like Easton's M110? This is the 110 we sent you. Yeah. That I think you said you didn't, you weren't fond it's, of the it was, version. It was barely. Yeah, it was barely. It's barely like it just feels barely different. Fairly different. Yeah, I will. I'll send you the other one, and it'll be. I guarantee it. We, we can nail it dead it's on with 100%, that one. Yeah. Yeah. I guarantee it's 100% the you, same. Do you, is this more top heavy, less top? Or? To be honest, I haven't picked it up since. But yeah, take a break. Well, I, uh, I could tell you a few things that we're doing differently. Okay, we've always had good wood. But now we're paying for the prime stuff, so we're getting more of it, right? Yeah, yeah. So instead of like what typical uh, companies do, they'll send a, a dozen out. Usually 10 are gamers, two are for BP. Mm -hmm. We're able to get a lot more than 10 now. So okay, cool. that's, that's, a, that's a good thing going forward. The other thing we're doing is we're boning the bats now. And it's not radial. So what we used to do in the past is the bat would spin and we'd rub a bar on it. It's a little bit better than non-boning, but now we're roller boning them which oh, is cool. significant. Now we've done some actual testing in R&D and, and it's basically uh, based on PSI. So how, many, how much PSI does it take to go quarter inch? And the number just skyrocketed with what we're doing. Really? Like over 200. So wow, that's we're just yeah. trying to get, the bat is going to get harder the more right. you hit it. It's cool. going to condense. We're just trying to expedite that process so when it gets to you, it it's like box. it already has those hits on it. It's already, yeah. you want to get it tight. Thousand percent. You want to get like your abs tight, your yeah. core, yeah. And your core and your bat are working yeah. together. Yeah. Oh. oh, I like it. Do we have BGs in there? Yeah. Perfect. I'm gonna bring this to hit. Yep. Oh, okay. And we're hand sanding these now too, so no more on them. Like it gets touched on the machine, and then it comes to me and one other guy, and we hand sand them now. So oh. that's why you're gonna get the better finish too, as well. I'm okay. Natural, but with a coat over it or black. Do you have any? Only, other? only natural. I only like it like I like it like this. But some, I've seen you swing black. I back. did when I was struggling. I just switched it up. But <laughs> I like I only like natural. Do you, do you like it natural or do you like it clear coat? I like like the clear on top what, of this. The clear on top of that. Unfinished handle though. Mm -hmm. 
Well, no, 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 the whole thing. The whole thing? Okay, thing. clear, clear. And I'll, what, I'll, send, I'll send you the exact one I used. In, in black on letters or gold or what? This is money right here. Isn't, isn't it right? Yeah, that's great. Well, now he can fill this with, with 24 karat gold. Yeah. That's sick. Love it. Love it. Love I'm it. glad you like it. Yeah. Super cool. We I'll send you some bats and we'll get we'll, yeah. be, we'll talk about like well, if you if you can turn them if you can turn one around and send it to me and I'll just absolutely. tell you what I what absolutely I when you start hitting I start hitting January first so we'll get it I'll get you them sent out before January. Are you soft tossing already? No, nothing. Okay, okay. nothing yet. I'll start swinging. I'll start swinging January one. Okay. Yeah. Some guys want. like like trout doesn't even I, I don't know. But some guys don't swing till like spring training. A few of the guys. I, I like to swing before it's national training. Well, we want to get you in it, and you know, to see you in Easton and everything else, it kind of hurts. So, yeah, I want to fix that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the thing we can do now, though, Alex, is like, you know, just by you telling us what you like and didn't like about a bat that we sent you, we can make those changes on the fly now. Cool. We, we weren't able to do that consistently before. Mm -hmm. Now we can. So, cool. if there, if we do send you something and you don't like it, you know, if you can tell us, that'd be great. Cause, That's perfect. You know, we uh, want to help you. I also think right now, I think this is a little skinny. Than mine. Mine, might, mine might be a little bit thicker on the handle, barely. Are you? I know you're up a little bit. Yeah. Are you? Where are you on the top hand? Are you one of these guys now no, that's I'm, like I'm fingers like, off? I'm like this hand, this knuckles off, but I grip, I grip the shit out of that. Okay. I grip it that hard. Oh, you're, you're deep in there. Yeah. Do you loosen up just before you hit? Oh, you're all but you, but you, you got that. Line. I feel like everybody who is loose tightens up before they hit. Right, the, right before they go to launch. Did you like change your, your load a little bit last, like in like June? Yep. Before you started hitting, when yep. you went on that just tear? Yeah. You just got your load back? Well, I was, I was, I was like super flat to begin with and I got, I just got it to 45 degrees and how I, how I wanted it. That behind my head, 45 degrees. Was that allowing you to stay on the plane longer? Yeah, like, or just quicker. That if, you, if you're flat, like, you're going to hit like this, but I, me personally, I need a little bit. I need that 45 to be able to really be on the plane. That's your the bottom hand about. turns more. Huh? The only thing I care, the, honestly, the only thing I care about is bat path when it comes to hitting. I don't care about anything else but bat path. I felt like I, I want, was my, I want to think, of, I want to think about my hands coming across my chest, like the knob of the bat coming across my chest. Like, yeah. I, I felt like all of a sudden one day I was watching. I was like, wait, that looks different. Mm -hmm. Like, but then you went on that tear in mm -hmm. June where you just went. And then I tried to keep that. Well, kept it for most of the way, so yeah, it was hey, awesome. Hey, we got to get over to the field. Thanks, dude. Yeah, no worries. Alex, yeah, great to meet you. Nice talking to you. All right. All right. Sandy's standing right there, makes the catch. All right, come on. You want to try? You really went deep, Strom? 363. Two. How hard did you exit it? What? One more. I wanted these guys to see Yeah. Hey, my opinion, I think you guys make the best batting gloves. Strom, go overhand. Good. Chachi, you overthinking this thing? No, no he's perfect. F***ing missile either way. Last one. And I'm ready for the field.
Top spin. Marty, he runs the heating uh, facility for us. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're his son's favorite player with it. That's pretty Are close you, to you yours. You actually uh, uh, inspired yes. him to go, go. from catch to the third base, so it's great. Thousand Oaks High School. They got a pretty good big league tradition, actually. They have some good players come yeah. through here. PK, nice to meet you, man. Okay. Yeah, I tried, well, I tried to block I'm my face. You guys are jet setting. You're all over the place. Cuts them straight through. Huh? I was back when I was feeling ground balls like this instead of like this. <laughs> just fielding them like this and. I'm still just pretending that yeah. yeah. that's what each small. individual do. Makes sense. <laughs> ALCS. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> well, I just took five swings in the cage before he came out here because I, I was like, I don't want to swing and miss. This field's a lot bigger than Minute Maid. <laughs> it is. I love the proper bike here, man. Oh, awesome. the best. Oh, yeah. I like how to get it to 45 and then get into my load. Right. So like that early like set of my hands just to kind of know where they're at. It looks super Change simple. It, it, it was just, just like, it was already said, you were there to go, just went A to B. That's all I was trying yeah. to do, A to B. Yeah. And now like, the game's changing so much to where it's all four seamers up in the zone now. But I'm just trying to stay, up, the four seamers up, I'm trying to stay up barrel above. If they throw sinkers, I'm trying to stay up barrel below. I'm just, me beat them to the spot. I'll tell you what, it's <laughs> unbelievable what you guys have to face on a day-in-day -day basis. I was so happy. Like, there were kids were asking, like, everyone's throwing 97, 98. So I was like, back in the day? Is 90, 90, 90, 90. Dude, you had one guy on each staff that maybe got to, like, a Royale as well, like, 95. <laughs> and, then, yeah. and then, like, you had your closer, and that was it. Like, Billy Wagner, okay, cool, there's our only guy we got to worry about 98. Now everybody throws freaking 100 miles an hour. Everybody, the entire bullpen. Well, just, like, yeah, good gosh. Ball. Can we get inside one ball, please, Alex? <laughs> I guess we can. <laughs> oh, softball strike. Get up! <laughs> What's the over under on the bombs today? One. <laughs> we just, we, we, we're at a push right now. <laughs> That's good, because we didn't take any insurance out on the high school kids' cars in the parking lot. Oh no, that was the one to leave the yard with too. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Do I just hit like a backhand? Like a backhand? Yeah, I'm good. It's a wrap. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, yeah. It's only 50 grand, that's fine. It's okay. Another <laughs> camera ride? Yeah, one. Yeah, this on the upper half. There you go. Go. Roll. Yeah. Something like that? Yeah. Quick feet, stand the balls, big toe, chest tall, shoulders loose. That's cool. Let's go. More strikes, more strikes, power on the ground, power on the ground, power on the ground. There we go, turn it over. Now just speed it up. Like speed up the hands, speed up the feet. There we go. There we go. Gradually to go. Gradually. Turn it over. Good knees and nice and easy. There you go. Hey, I'm doing this Easton shoot right now. I gotta call you in a second. Hey, are you on hole four right now? Slight wind to the slight slight wind to the left. Yeah, tell him I say what's up. Oh, he's working. Oh, please tell me when I'm done. Like his backhand, just gonna do like crossover <laughs> and stick in his landing there. You can dummy. You can dummy almost like the backhand. So if you cross wanted to and then just kind of take it over up to you. I'll just do the normal cross and go how we do it cross and go right, cool. just like <laughs> yeah okay but do that do that one now but have the swivel the hip what do you mean like don't kind of go here make it a hard okay. swivel okay like try to gain a lot of distance here a lot of distance <laughs> Shoot! Oh, shoot, go off. Shoot, you. Shoot. Yeah, I did. Did I shoot? Oh. Put, put these on so we can get a good shot. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Can you going go this way again? So? Alright. I'm going to the Make right. it explosive. Okay. Swivel the hips. Shoot! Cool. Good? Yeah. Oh yeah. Marker? Yeah. Cutting. 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 Cool. Cutting. LSU? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know how you so like it. He was going to ask you if you could oh, put a word it. for him. Yeah, put in a word. Put in a word. It's great. I loved it there. It was fun. And Coaches are cool or what? Yeah, and there's nothing like it. <laughs> you can go anywhere in the country to play, but that's the best place to play in the country. For real. Hollywood. Best fan, best everything. That's why I wanted to go there first because they're fan base. Yeah, it's sick. You, you, you play well there, you're like Derek Jeter. Yeah. You walk around Baton Rouge and everyone like household name. It's crazy. You don't really get that anywhere else in college baseball. You get it in college football, but for college baseball, they freaking love it. Only advice Switch. I got, you guys want to play in big leagues every day, you got to do something to get better. That's it. He knows. Push that goes. Yeah. Coach Jack knows we know. We do that. <laughs> he told I know they know. Yeah. Last yeah. <laughs> name. No more Fortnite. <laughs> oh! I love Alex Bradman. <laughs> <laughs> Fortnite kind of became bad. Dude, dude. it is the, it is the baseball now. killer. It used to be the high school girlfriend. Yeah. It's, it's Fortnite. still it's both now. It's a it girlfriend if or you have, Fortnite. If you do both, you're, Coach, I'm going to put you on JV. <laughs> I'm straight up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not on JV. <laughs> 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 I, I don't think that really happens. Dude, he's top there. I don't play Fortnite. You don't play Fortnite and uh, I'm not on kind of G. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, depends what kind of game you got. If you got a good game, you can do both. <laughs> good luck, guys. Thank you. Yep, thanks for, thanks for shagging those top spin line drives. <laughs>
the hottest. Yeah. What do you think of your, yeah. that look? That's, we want to do an updated play. Cool, like, it's like flying. The rainbow yeah. kind of look, but these are all the new ones we're trying to work on. And did you show them the knit one? Yeah, the fly knit one feels good. It feels good, but the grips a little bit. I don't know. If it's these are my favorite ones so far. Like those aesthetically? Ones? Mm -hmm. How they feel, how they look, everything. So those, they're, these are a little firmer on the back of hand. Like, like they're more substantial with the metallic. Yeah. So they're not as flexible as the ones that you wore this year. Don't. I don't know. I don't know about these ones. I feel good. The Where's the other one? And then this is a just a, this is not a color. This is just a feel the back of hand on this one. This is a, just again trying to be a little bit more substantial. It, they're tighter for sure. See, here's my thing with all this stuff. I think what we do is we keep the same kind of glove and we just change the color combination okay. because it just felt right. No, no, no. Right. If it, 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 it feel isn't. like they'd strictly only it, be. We made this one for the guys. We had several guys that say, I want a more Franklin feel. Because, you know, Franklin uses the much stiffer leather on the back of the hand. I've never been a fan of Franklin gloves. So then you're not going to like that. But the idea that we were going after with that was the Franklin. And you Especially can kind of. this wrist thing right here. Uh, yeah, you can feel the piping on the pinky. And yeah, this is what you wore last year? Yeah. So those are way no, 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 no. more flexible. Like no, no, no. These are funny right here. Yeah, I like those. They're really cool. I love that. Uh, in like, in like a love this. that design right there. So this is gonna be that material, but like a blue chrome. Oh, cool. I like I like all the ones we did last year, except for where do we have the one all of them from last year? The only ones I didn't like were like the blue, the blue and white ones. I never wore them. The ones that I wore were orange and blue. Or orange, yeah. I think it was orange and orange. Or, uh, white. I wore the rainbow ones, and then the grays uh, quite a bit. What you say? Just the straight grays. You wore quite a bit. Yeah, sometimes I wore those as well. What do you, you can even do the gray with these? So do you, you like that? So that's Love it. Yeah. this will be that, and I, we're trying to just get the colors in in a different way. Honestly, yeah. If you send me these, I'd wear these every day. Okay. That. What? I'd wear these every day. In but I like the whites too, and I change them up. I would say that now, wait, but I change them up. Wait, do you, you know? like this because of the gold on it or because of the feel? Like, what is it you like? The, I like the gold. I like the Why feel. Do, would you do the white with like gold or white with silver? Well, I like we white have, and gold. We have this. It's about the weight. How you can make the bats different. Oh yeah. What's we, this? We got a we got a tool now that you can lay the bat down. Like we'll take your bat and we'll weigh it and it'll actually give us the swing weight, not the physical weight, right? And then when we make your bat and it gets time to where we're ready to cup it, we can actually match the swing weight. Oh, okay, cool. That's awesome. Yeah. So you don't like something like that? That's no, love it. You love, like this one? Love that. Okay. I, I, I'd, rather, I'd like rather I'd rather I'd like these like if there's gonna be a lot going on I want it to look like this like I, I, I'd way rather rock that than that okay. I'd way rather rock the orange than that so you like white. do you like that orange or that like if it's gonna be if there's gonna be a lot of white in it I would rather it if there's gonna be a lot of white in it I want it to be like this is this is sick because it's the throwback right but if there's gonna be a lot of white in the glove I want it to be all white and just one other color you know what I mean? Okay, white with just like a simple A blue, navy. or white with an orange, or white with a gold. Okay. What? So, like I said, this is this is kind of trying to do an evolution of that. Love that. Okay. I like that. And then if on the orange, do you like the more tonal orange on orange, or do you like it with the broken up orange. color blocking? Orange, orange. Miss, Charles, do you like these? I'm yeah. missing the light. Charles, you like these ones? I think it'd be sick with the red with orange, though. I agree. Yeah, I mean, that's what we'll do. I agree. Red, orange, yeah. That, that's what we'll do. That's, Although I, we, we were just playing around with this material to see if it would work. And it, I think it works. 
I think it does too, and I think it also works with the black as the thing with this with this color combination. Yeah, as is right there. Are you okay with the blue outline on this? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So from those two, so this uh, one. I like both of those. Well, these are both. This is just the Pro X design versus the Oh, so this yeah. is a feel you didn't like. Yeah. That's. You don't like the more. <laughs> yeah, we can make that look very similar to that. So where would you want like the hits of color okay, on so the if white? It was, if it was white. This whole, like all this blue right here, mm -hmm. well, besides the Eastern Park blue, but like wi all white, mm -hmm. this can be outlined, yeah. and then all white right here as well. Okay. You want the whole thing? Everything white. White it up. White it up. And like I instead like of blue, it could be like, it could be blue, but it could also be like gold, it could be silver. I love the white ones. Okay. Like I will only wear these at, I will wear these at home every game. Okay. And if I'm hitting well, I'll wear them on the road too. Do you want to see a mock-up of all white with silver or gold yeah, or sweet. like a chrome blue or a chrome orange, all but all white. Yeah. Okay. Send them all. I'd wear all of those. Okay. Where is that right now? <laughs> so this is all navy and then where this these hits are that are gold here, on here this would be like a navy chrome. Cool. And what about the lines right there? Is that orange? I'm colorblind. It's yellow yeah, and these are yellow and orange. Perfect. I like those just how they are right there. I agree. And you go white on orange because yep. you don't want to look like a friggin' pumpkin. Yep. The other thing, so you you would primarily like to use the white at home because I'm just trying to think how many I want to order for you. I would primarily use if we do whites. If we, if we do white with gold, silver, orange, and blue. I'd wear those for the home games, and then like that, I'd wear on the road. That I'd wear like All Star game. I'd wear that glove. So white, you probably want to have like. In a combination, you we're, we're looking let's at. Let's also a, say I use a ton in, in the in the uh, in spring training. I use a ton in. Well, I'm, cages. what I'm thinking is I want to get you basically 250 pairs cool. for the year. So if we're gonna ratio that out, that's where I wanna I want to get to. Here. 140 Neat. pairs of white. I agree. Of of white base, but then we can do different things with the white. With them. Yeah. With the silver. White, silver, gold, orange, blue. So that is split up into four. So the the next three sets of gloves are, are like this, right? Boom. Okay. Red, orange. Boom. Boom. Okay. You good? Mm -hmm. And so no gray based. Okay. I like gray. Options. I like them all. Thirty six of all of them. Is this the battle to see you? Oh, you're good. <laughs> you're real good. I literally was like, I should probably scoop back a little bit. <laughs> Not the one I'd use. <laughs> 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 
What's the name of this? ADV. ADV? Yeah. It's a project three. ADV project three. It's a mouthful. Bang, bang. If I was still using metal bats, I would use the ADV Project 3. One problem. It's composite. <laughs> Start it over. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> If I was still using composite bats, I'd use the ADV Project 3. Can you do a couple of swings and maybe reference like the feel like, like no stink, man this feels good, man great swing weight, like okay. comes off the barrel hot, just kind of talking to yourself while you're, okay. while you're swinging. This balance is amazing. No, I've never said anything like that in my life. Wow, this bat is wow, this bat's balanced. Say, say, I don't, say don't Don't say what you just said now. Wow, the ball jumps off his bat. Never oh, say anything like this. How about I just do like... <laughs> oh my god. I don't know, I wouldn't really say anything. I'd be like, god, this lizard skin is just... <laughs> Alright. My hands are going to fall off. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. That was great. And so like their batting cages at their school burned down. So they're like coming here to use the facilities here. What's up guys, I'm Alex. I know you guys probably all like the Dodgers, but uh, playing the Astros, but I heard you guys had a, uh, we're going through some stuff with the fires and everything. And um, glad Easton brought you guys out here to use the cages today and everything. And just want to wish you guys the best of luck on your season this year. And um, brought you guys some bats that you guys can use during the year. The new uh, oh. composites from, from Easton, they're pretty cool. And um, hopefully you guys hit some homers with them. We'll see. You guys play, you all play on the softball team? Yeah. yeah. And then baseball team? Yeah, so like, I, I wish you guys the best of luck. And if you guys go, come to a game next year when we play the uh, we play the Dodgers, say what's up, yell at me. Tackle me, drag on me. Yeah. <laughs> I asked if I could give you guys uh, any advice for, for hitting. Um, Biggest things, biggest things I would say about hitting is um, when you're when you're in the cage working on hitting. If you're a right-handed hitter, or if you're a left-handed hitter, the balls that you hit in the cage should be in the air to the pull side and line drives to that side of the cage. So if you're right-handed, when I'm in the cage and I'm hitting, I'm trying to hit homers to left field and line drives to right field. And then if I was left-handed, I'd be trying to do homers to right field, line drives that way. It just sets your bat path up to be correct throughout the zone. Yeah, I'd say hit the inside part of the ball and hit line drives. It's all, that's as simple as, as simple as, it seems simple, it's tough. You guys know it's a game of failure, but um, best advice I got for you. And also, work your work your butt off. If you guys if you guys want to play college baseball or professional baseball in, or college softball, y'all think about it every day, work at it every single day, and if you guys believe you can do it and you put, put in the work, anybody can do it. I was the smallest kid on my high school team growing up. It's not really, to be honest with y'all, not really that talented and just kind of worked, 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 and then finally kind of got worked enough to get talented at it. So, um, wish you guys the best of luck this year. Super, super uh, sorry about what happened. I'll be thinking about you guys and rooting for you guys to win state. When we, uh, when we had Hurricane Harvey, um, the year before it, and it hit Houston. The city was devastated, and the whole whole city kind of rallied around us. So I'm hoping the city rallies around y'all, and you guys go win a 
state championship or win district or win it and win. And uh, I think it'll make a lot of people happy and make a lot of people forget about um, the, the tough times that they're going through. So good luck and I don't know who, who to give these to, but they'll try them out today. Let me know, let me know what you guys think and um, yeah, see you guys soon. Thank you. Thank you. So you guys Dodger fans or Angel fans? Uh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oakland? <laughs> <laughs> They're good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Where's Lou? Sorry, no, sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oakland, huh? Yeah. <laughs> They're in our division. They're in our division. Yeah. They're in our division. They're good. <laughs> oh, I know. Hey, Reddick and Reddick are good. So who's y'all's favorite player then if you like the Dodgers? Who you guys got? <laughs> uh, you guys don't know who your favorite player is? Turner. 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 I got you. Jansen. Jansen? <laughs> My mom loved the Yankees and she thought Jeter was hot. <laughs> <laughs> so I would uh I'd root I'd root for the Red Sox every night, but I still like I still like Jeter. <laughs> you are? Yeah. Oh. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> no, they got us last year, man. They played really well. Cora was our bench coach, their manager. He was our bench coach the year before. He's awesome. They got a good team too, Betts, Ben and Tendi and JV. Y'all if you seriously, if y'all come to us and we play the Dodgers in the World Series next year, let me know. Yell at yeah. Don't be too mean, but yell at me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, sen I'm sensitive. <laughs> Alright, y'all have fun. Thank you. Hey, thank you guys for everything today. Thanks, 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 guys. Thank you. That's a wrap from Easton. Had a great shoot today here. Talked to a lot of kids, had some fun. Put on some makeup. That was the first. A lot of fun. Stay tuned. Comment below. Let me know. <laughs>